welcome to crafting with ty and friends today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the candy popcorn i'm going to be showing you guys my recipe that i use to make one color but i'm going to be dividing it um, showing you guys how i can create two colors from the recipe you can actually do this and create three four colors however many colors you want but i like to just split it in half and create two and if i need any other colors i'll just make another batch to start with. So first you wanna cut your oven on. You wanna have your oven set to 250. And then you wanna take a half, one and a half a stick of butter, turn your fire on. I'm gonna just set it at like medium high right now. Then you're gonna take a half a cup of K-Roll syrup. Once your butter melts a little bit, add it in. And then you want to take a cup of sugar. So the recipe calls for one and a half stick of butter, one cup of sugar, a half a cup of K-Roll syrup. And then you want to have your colors you're going to use. I'm using blue and red today. You don't need white like you do for the candy apples, but I also just add a tad bit of white. You can add color, I mean flavoring if you want. I'm not adding flavoring, but this is the flavored oil I do use, is the Lauren oils. I won't be adding flavor today. I really don't add flavor to my popcorn unless the customers ask for it because it's actually sweet already. So I'm adding my carrot syrup to my butter. Please don't use no plastic spatula like I'm doing when you mix this because this gets hot. You, wanna, you want your um, mixture to get 250 on your candy thermometer at softball. So once you got all your ingredients in there, just let it, let your butter melt and mix it together. This is how it currently looks. So once my mixture basically is melted and it starts bubbling a little bit, I'm gonna give it one final stir just to make sure my the Cairo syrup and the butter and everything is all mixed together. I'm actually gonna cut my fire off. I'm going to stir it one last time. And then I'm going to take my pot and I'm gonna pour half of this liquid into a smaller pot and this is me dividing it so I can create two different colors. You wanna make sure you stir because you don't wanna pour your liquid in here and not get the gist of your mixture. So just pour about half of it in there. I just eyeball it. And then I'll set the big pot to the side and then I'll cut the fire back on, on the smaller pot. And then I will boil it till it gets the temperature I need. But while it's doing that, I'm gonna actually go ahead and add my color in now. My dye is a little crazy. Uh. So go ahead and add your color. I'm gonna add a few drops of white and I'm going to stir. Make sure you have your candy thermometer so you can make sure your candy is the right temperature. You don't want it to get too hot. Remember we're doing softball stage, so around 250, 225 is where you want it to be. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the big pot or your other pots you have. Just turn it on, add your colors, stir, and get it to the temperature you need.
So while we wait for this to um, go ahead and get to that temperature, I'm going to do my uh, second pot, get the second pot started. So as you can see on my thermometer, I'm almost to 225 softball stage. So once your colors get to the softball stage, you want to just pour it over your popcorn and mix it together so your popcorn can be fully coated. Add popcorn as you go. So you basically just coat your popcorn as much as you can. Then we're going to take it and place it on a cookie sheet. And just spread it all over the cookie sheet and place it in the oven for five minutes. Now we're doing the other color, which will be red. So I'm going to add my red now. Oh yeah, I'm using my little toothpick method because my oil and food coloring. So you just go ahead again and get your mixture, your second mixture up to 225, soft ball status. So I have a couple more minutes till it's there. Then we'll coat the popcorn. But now let's go ahead and check the ones that we do have in the oven. Remember you do it at five minutes. Check it. Hope you guys can see. And then I just move my popcorn around a little bit. I leave it in the oven for a total of about 15 minutes. So place it back in there. Once your popcorn been in for about 15 to 10 minutes, just make sure you don't burn it because once you start, once your popcorn start burning, the color changes. So like if I would have kept this in here longer, it'll start looking like greenish a little bit. But here's my popcorn, fresh out the oven. What I'm doing is just mixing it a little bit and I'm going to leave it here to get crunch, to cool off and then it's gonna give it that crunch. So I'm gonna let it sit for about five to 10 minutes and then I'm going to come in back. So once your popcorn cools off, it's gonna be crunchy and it's gonna be stuck. Some pieces will be stuck together. Just take it and undo it like this. It easily comes loose. You can actually hear the popcorn now because it gives it that crunch. I'm gonna eat one. <laughs> So once you get the popcorn cooled off, um, just go ahead and separate your pieces. My red is still cooling. And then we can go ahead and bag this popcorn up. Now. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me.